can you more hair care? Can you more hair care? Y'all, that dude got a little ring to it. I ain't even gonna lie. Well, I started chatting that beside my husband in the bed. He was like... <laughs> I was like, it got a little something to it. It's a little bop. You know what I'm saying? It just is. <laughs> Y'all, the way Kenya got the girls together, okay, for the money... <laughs> Yeah, Kenya wasn't playing, honey. Kenya wasn't playing. And she let all of the girls know. She ain't even give them no warning, honey. When she got up to that podium, she told them, yeah. Um, she said, how much you trying to raise? She said, yeah, um, 50000 She said, oh, well, it's fifty dollars over at that table right there. <laughs> Talk about her, you know, big bank Hank friends, okay? I said, girl, oh, my God. And Candy off the break was like, you know what? Um, yeah, I'm not doing all this on my own because I know y'all bitches probably thinking I got it. You know, because Katie doing show who escaping all this other stuff. She got her little house watcher. I can't even name all the bags she got, but the bitch got some money. Everybody know it. And Candy off the break was giving out tabs. Y'all know y'all go out to dinner with somebody and they start breaking down the receipt. <laughs> Candy was like, yeah, um, we all need to put up how much? How much is 50000 divided by seven? Seven bitches at this table, girl. Okay, and we need to jimmy this shit up. And yeah, Drew off the break was like, well, that's 7000 Girl, Drew, you look a little nervous. <laughs> you look a little nervous, honey. And I was concerned for you, girl, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I don't know if your marriage is in that type of state that you could just be taking $7,000 out of the account for, you know, some type of charity event. You know what I'm saying? Or if you even got it like that, y'all, what did Drew do? I don't know. Like, she looks familiar, and she was in movies and stuff, I guess. And she gonna be in this next movie with Todd, and I cannot even wait. But what the fuck did Drew really do? Like, what do she do? We don't know. But Drew, girl, you look real scary, okay? When, yeah, you said that 7,000. I was a little bit concerned for you, you know, but Drew had to play it all, play it, play it all. But y'all, you know who wasn't faking the funk at all? Monjetta said, yeah, I got 2,500. <laughs> girl, I ain't giving no 5,000. Girl, I been eyeing this Coco Chanel, honey, okay? I, um, I need to, you know, have my spending money for when I go on a vacation with my husband because I'm a cap woman, honey. <laughs> Girl, like, no, I ain't giving nobody no $5,000. I know y'all talking about homeless women and all this other stuff, but girl, I ain't got it. Okay? Y'all, Marlo was back there quiet too now. Now, Marlo, you wrong. Because Marlo got it, honey. And I really don't think you had to call that old white man for it. I really don't. I think you got it sitting in your account. And you probably could have gave the whole 50000 You know what I'm saying? We don't know what Marlo got. Marlo got some money. Okay? Marlo probably got Coco Chanel or Versace or Fendi or Issa Laurent. <laughs> she probably got all that shit just uh, draped up her pinky toe. You know what I'm saying? So Marlo was sitting back there real quiet. But I think Marlo gave 5000 So everybody gave 5000 you know. And they ended up raising $78,000, okay? I said, ooh, that's a lot of money. So that was 28000 over what they actually, you know, wanted to raise y'all. So that was like, and then they got Sheree's son to come out there. Y'all, my heart would have been so happy. If my son would have came out there and gave me the OG mom award, I need <laughs> I said, go ahead now, Sheree. Sheree got that one. I said, I know and your son walked out there, y'all, and he stood up there and talked real quick. Like she said, my son not even the type you can pull him in like that. He'll talk in front of everybody. Y'all, mine's not either. So if my son would have did that, I would have just told so special, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get into the real housewives of Atlanta, okay? No notes. <laughs> I just watched it last night, and I just reviewed Bell Collective and then for that. I don't feel like doing it, you know what I'm saying, writing it all down. And I just did um, Love and Marriage Huntsville, so I'm just going to go off the wind with this because, you know, it wasn't much to the show. But I was so happy to see um, two of the girls back on the show. I think it's just, like, as guests. I don't think they're going to be on here. But Lisa Wu and Kim Zodiac. You know, I was really excited to see them up there with Sheree and kicking the bubble. That was so nice. The other girl, Deshaun, I think that's her name. I really don't remember her. It feels like her face 
looks familiar, but I, I don't remember. Maybe I didn't watch it that far back or something, but I don't remember her. You know, her hair was bomb, giving everything. You know, her hair was deliberate. It was giving everything it was trying to give, okay? The swoop, the shortness, the small curls, like, girl, Deshaun, her hair was bomb. Again, y'all know Sheree slays it with the ponytails, and it was really bomb the way her hair was looking. Um, the braid or something that she had in the middle, you know, I think for me, because I was trying to sit there and figure out how come Sheree, um, ponytails be looking so bomb and i figured it out y'all it's her head shape and it's her hair texture and this is why so the thing about that too is this the flip side of it i'm getting tired of saying sheree in a ponytail sheree you need to do something else i know you rocking it and you can rock it and this is what you do and yes it looks very good but you need to switch it up i'm tired of saying it Okay, I'm tired of saying it. Anyway, um, yeah, so the girls get to the table. They're all at the table for them in a really nice restaurant. Everybody looks really nice. Everybody here is on point. If you could call Kim Zodi, I guess her here on point then. You know, I guess the bitch got on her best. You know what I'm saying? Um, Lisa Wu, pretty girl. You know what I mean? Can't say nothing about that. But let's get into all of the tea about each girl. Okay? So... Lisa Wu brings up the fact that, yeah, it's in the blogs talking to Kim. It's in the blogs that um, your house is being foreclosed on. They so shady, y'all. I don't see how they do it. Like, <laughs> I know that's your job. You supposed to come to work and talk about each other's business. But when people just bring something up of your business, how do they fix their face and answer the question? I don't know, y'all, but they do. I told y'all I couldn't view it. Anyway, um, after she just finished kicking with the bitch, oh yeah, we cool, this and this and that. You know, Lisa was like, we cool, we cool, telling Kim. And you go and ask her that. Yeah, so um, what about your house basically being foreclosed? It's on the internet. You know, and she was like, well, my house not being foreclosed. I'd be stupid to let my house foreclose for 200000 Girl, that's not what we heard. We heard your house was getting foreclosed for 200000 and you did not have it. And that's the thing that everybody was saying. Damn, this bitch don't got $200,000. You know what I'm saying? So, she said she still got her house. It's nothing like that. But I do remember seeing in the blogs that her and... What's his name? I forgot his name. Her husband. Damn, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, they had some type of um, thing where the police came to their house or whatever. And he was throwing her wigs around or something like that. And they was fighting and the kids was around and involved. Something like that. She had some shit going on at her house. And he also had her in court for custody or something. Kim be going through little stuff, but what they saying now, because I just saw it on TGIF, that everybody think it was all a ploy because they might have a reality show coming back out. Y'all know they had a reality show, but they probably have a reality show coming back out. And everything that they've gone through, that they've displayed in the media, that this is why, so they can get, you know, ratings for and people to watch that. So, um, Sheree is asking Lisa Wu and Deshaun about, you know, what they've been doing. And they both divorced, you know. And Lisa Wu was like, yeah, he beat her too. He divorced her first. You know, meaning that she was about to do it and he just beat her to the punch, like he said. Um, and I don't remember what went down in that relationship. Or even if they said it. If y'all know, let me know, because I don't know. Um, and then Deshaun, who I don't remember but looks very familiar um her husband divorced her too so i don't know and then sheree was saying how you know she is a new glamour because she got her grandchild I told y'all that little baby is so cute <laughs> they was melting at that table that little girl is so pretty and i just can't even wait till i become a glamour honey okay one of these days girl sassy gonna be a grandma <laughs> A glamour as Sheree says it. But anyway, um, what's next? Oh, Sonya. Who is Sonya? Sonya is torn, y'all. She trying to be there for her family and be supportive and, you know, let them reap her benefits that she's created, you know, of her wealth and 
have them work for her and give them jobs and stuff around her and it's just not working out. It's not working out. And everybody knows that you don't mix business and family. Like, and this is why, because you end up feeling bad for all of their woes and everything they're going through. This is not supposed to be going on. Her sister does her hair. She's behind her standing with an attitude. Why she doing her hair? And she's telling her, yeah, you was late. Um, telling Sonya, because Sonya was like, yeah, you was late, and I ain't even had time to give my son no food, and I ain't even do this, and I ain't even get that, and you need to try to make sure you on time, because it messed my schedule up. Like, girl, if you was on a real job, you could not be telling the boss all your woes like that. You would just have to take it like the rest of us. Okay, and this is where Sonya is hitting a brick wall, because she's having a heart for her sister, and you can't even blame her because that's her sister but Sonya you gotta do something else you know because you shouldn't be going through this Sonya was real good sitting there crying like she looked like she was crying so bad and holding it in she looked like she was boohooing that's how bad Sonya was crying because she felt bad that she had corrupted her sister's life and it shouldn't be that way Sonya need to be able to come to work and be like okay this this and that and this is what stars do they're late Look at Kenya, okay? Talking about, yeah, you want me to be um late or you want me to be um late and ugly? Like, they don't be really caring about no time. So Sonya don't need to be worried about this when she come to work. She need to just come to work and sit down and get her hair done. You know, and it's just too much. And I feel bad for Sonya because she is doing her best. And I think she does have the best heart and trying to do right by her family. But you can't work for family. Look at the brother-in-law. You know, talking about how she got him working too hard and taking advantage of If that was the case and she had a regular employee, bitch, you just do your job. I tell you what to do. You don't weigh how much I'm trying to give you or you don't weigh what I told you to do. You have a job to do. You come to work, you do your job, and that's it. And I don't need to hear your mouth. That's how bosses carry it, but Sonya can't carry it like that because she has all these feelings involved. You know what I'm saying? And her sister should not be working with her. I don't agree with that at all. And sooner or later, Sonya is going to be pressed to make a decision because either one or two things. It's either that husband is going to say, you know what? That is enough because he already want them out. You know, he already want them out of his house. And he wants his family. He just wants it to be them. You know, or the second thing that's going to happen is they're just going to up and leave. They, like, they're going to say, you know what, I can't take no more. Like the brother did and leave the whole situation alone and not even care. That everybody is always going to be there because they can get up and walk off too. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I just think that Sonya needs to find a regular employee because your family... It's not going to give you the most professional environment and you too worried about their feelings. So, you know, and like I said, I feel bad for Sonya. She was sitting there crying, holding a lot and she looked like she wanted to be like, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. and she didn't, she just kept on wiping her eyes, kept on wiping her eyes, you know, and the sister ain't had no mercy for it. it was like, like, damn, they tired of you, Sonya. You know what I mean? And when you family members, it gives you a right to be tired. Because, yeah, I'm your sister. <laughs> You're not supposed to be treating me in this way. But, yeah, y'all, that is all for this video. I'm at work right now. I got to change into my scrubs, okay? And I will talk to y'all and see y'all ladies later, okay? Bye.